And now it's time for a Q&A from you, the viewers. And this question came in in response to the Dell XPS 2-in-1 review from Stacy Alexandria. Stacy says, it's sad that these tech companies are making it so the only way you can quote unquote upgrade a laptop is to buy a new one. Uh, that Dell XPS has no upgradable components inside. The uh, RAM is soldered on and the storage is soldered onto the motherboard. Apple started doing that about a year ago. It looks like Dell is now following suit with this particular computer, and we're starting to see more and more soldered RAM on other manufacturers' machines as well, and I wouldn't be surprised to see more soldered storage too, because it's a cost-saving measure that these companies can use. If you don't have to have somebody install a hard drive on every unit, when you scale that labor savings across a production line of a million or more devices, you can save yourself a lot of money by having a machine do it. And of course, solid state storage allows for these tiny chips to be attached to a motherboard just like all the other chips are. And that is of course something companies will pursue to try to squeeze a little bit more profit out of these devices. And consumers just aren't demanding upgradability either. And that's part of this issue. Uh, when they run out of space on their iPad, they just get a new one with more storage. There's really not a lot of incentive for uh, companies to do this because customers aren't demanding it. But all this got me thinking about some of the stagnation that we're experiencing in the PC industry. Uh, PCs are a lot more usable now over the long term. I've got a seven or eight year old MacBook Pro that uh, Jake is still using to edit video here on the channel. It works just fine. And by the way, when I bought that machine seven or eight years ago, I put 16 gigs of RAM in it, and that's the same amount of RAM I have on all of my other current PCs. I haven't really found the need to go beyond that, even for doing all the things that I do with video. And I think if you go and look at a consumer uh, who's perfectly happy with their computer after five or six years, there really isn't much of a need to upgrade given that the only thing really pushing computers these days is high-end gaming and high-end creative work, which of course most consumers are not doing. And I think that's part of what's driving this soldered on strategy. It's not costing these companies anything and they can actually make a buck or two because of it. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including gold level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Brian Parker, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.